Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to Baltimore. To be honest, even though it's only September right now, it's actually pretty chilly. Um, we just got off the bus and we're actually here now. It's a lot warmer than it was earlier. Hello. Hello. So I just finished lunch. Um, in between my last trip to the cafe and now, there was actually a little bit of micro events. Like we went to visit my brother's old apartments where he used to live. And um, we also went to go look at some houses and we went to an Asian supermarket. Nothing too special. But now we're gonna go pick up a special guest that you guys might recognize if you've watched some of my social eating streams. She's, shut up, Derek. <laughs> so, if you guys watch some of my social eating streams, you guys might recognize her. She's popped in once or twice. And you guys all scream, girl, pop champ. We have Claire. Say hi, Claire. Hi. How are you doing today? Not bad. Everyone's here now, and we're all about to head to Whole Foods. According to my brother, this Whole Foods is huge, and there's actually a lot more stuff. go to Whole Foods a lot, but every time I do go, it always smells so good in here. Like, this Whole Foods is huge. Much bigger than the one around my house. That's okay. Okay, now that I think about it, going to Baltimore and going to Whole Foods seems kind of weird, right? Going somewhere um, for a day trip and then just going to like a generic food chain. That's kind of weird. Actually, they have a, like, I'm guessing this is just at every Whole Foods, right? And I just don't go to Whole Foods very often. But there's such a huge cheese selection. And if you guys know me, I do like to cook a lot. And I do like working with different, um, different ingredients that I wouldn't usually work with. So when I see all these cheeses available, I'm actually really excited about it. It's pretty awesome. They even have like fresh pasta here. I mean, they might have, I don't go to Whole Foods very often. They might have this everywhere, but I'm pretty surprised. It's really cool to me. I'm going blonde at 1500. Let's do this correctly. What color should I go? giant lake I don't think you'll ever see this at any other Whole Foods, but there's actually an entire lake in the back of this Whole Foods. Just look at that, like, you know what I'm thinking? There's mad Pokemon there. And if we just go across here, look at this really nice fountain. Well, there's trees spot. Look at this nice, just chill spot around here. This is part of the shopping center. center. This is absolutely beautiful. They have a nice selection of flavors for a rotisserie chicken. And every day, herb brought to naked. Sounds about right. Ho oh, ho, this seems like my type of bread. So we just finished checking out at Whole Foods. And not gonna lie, even though Whole Foods is just a chain, we bought a lot of stuff. I bought some cheeses and just other ingredients to use for shopping and it is really bright outside and really hot. I'm, I regret saying that it was chilly this morning because now it is burning hot. This Whole Foods was really nice though. Bye giant Whole Foods. You will be missed. If you guys know me, I hate the heat and oh my god. God, it is hot today. We were in Whole Foods for like an hour or maybe two hours. Uh, but like, we opened the car door and you just feel this blast of heat coming out. I mean, you gotta say pot. I feel like I'm gonna burn my butt sitting. Oh, yeah. I gotta say, I don't do this often, 
I don't think I'm going to play this game again outside Simulator 2016. Uh, I'll give it like a 2 out of 10. Kind of a shitty game. I mean, it's really hot. I have to walk a lot. I think I'll stay with the inside, bud. But... How you can tell that I've been out for a long time. If you compare it to earlier in the video, my hair was really puffed up and stuff. And now it's just kind of flat, kind of sad. Still some parts of this gel. So like, I know I said that this was going to be a three part vlog. But unfortunately, while I was editing it, I realized that I didn't have enough material for a third part. So unfortunately, this vlog is only going to be two parts. This will conclude the end of my first vlog, but my next vlog, which is the second vlog, will be my meetup in New York, which is really fun. I have tons of footage to roll through for that, so that won't be coming out for like maybe another couple weeks to a month. We'll see how it goes. But to compensate for not having a third part, because apparently some of you said that was going to be your favorite, I'll leave a link in the description below to one of my videos that I have up that's actually unlisted, but it's a quick freestyle that I did. It's kind of messy, I didn't really want to show everyone, but you guys deserve it. Um, but yeah, this is the end of my first vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm still learning. Hopefully I can get better at editing and recording with lighting and angles and everything. And of course, as usual, if you like the video, like it, comment what you liked about it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel already, and I broadcast every day on Twitch.tv, so follow me there. That's the primary place where you could find me. Thanks, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.